Hey guys, welcome back, it's Kitty. So, as you saw from the title of this video, today I will be ranking the historical characters from American Girl, including the best friends. I was originally going to do the Girl of the Years, but since it's only going to be a couple more months till the Girl of the Years 2021 is out, I'm just going to wait till she's out and rank them all. So just a quick warning, these are all my opinion, you are free to disagree with me and have your own opinion. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Guys, it's Editing Kitty, and I showed this to Kat, like the final product, and she disagreed with a lot of my opinions. So this tells me that either I have a lot of unpopular opinions, she has a lot of unpopular opinions, or we both do. So I have not read most of their books, so I may be like judging a little too harshly here, but if you're sensitive to opinions that differ against yours, you should probably leave now because I don't know uh, how different mine are from a lot of other people. And one more thing, just because I don't like one of the dolls does not mean that they're bad. Like you might think one of my least favorite dolls is the best and that's fine. So I just said this but let's get on with the video. So first up we have Kaya, Native American from 1964. Pretty cool, American Girl did their research with this one. She's very pretty, um, great story from what I've seen. Uh, she's never really sparked my interest in getting her, but she really is a great doll, so I'm just going to move her up to the great category. All right, next we have Felicity Merriman. She's from the American Revolution era, which is my favorite, um, period in American history. Um, very pretty doll, gorgeous green eyes. Her collection looks pretty cool. Uh, she never really sparked me an interest in getting her, but she's very pretty. So I'm just going to move her up with the great next to Kaya as well. Okay, so next up is Felicity's best friend doll, Elizabeth. Um, she's very pretty. She's from England, which is pretty cool. Um, blonde hair, blue eyes. At least it's not the classic mold. Um, it's the Josefina mold. I mean, I made Anna Brooklyn with an Elizabeth doll, so I guess I can't complain too much about her. Um, she's pretty, but she's also kind of basic. So I'm just gonna put her in the good category. All right, so next we have Caroline. So, Caroline, pretty, my cousin has her. War of 1812, that's a cool era. Um, again, kind of basic other than her eyes. Her eyes are gorgeous, like Felicity's. I wish they had her out for longer though, because she was only out for like three years. Oh, I'll put her in the good category next to Elizabeth. Now we have Josefina. Mexican, um, so that's cool. She didn't really stick out to me. I guess the only reason I like her that much is because I really like her face mold. The Josefina mold is my favorite. So I'll put her in the meh category because other than her face mold, I don't really like her that much. Now we have Cecile and we gotta respect her. She is gorgeous. Her hazel eyes go wonderful with the rest of her. Um, likes to be on stage. Yeah, she's just, she's just already a queen. Now we have Kirsten. Kat really likes her. Uh, she never really stood out to me though. She was one of the original three American Girl Dolls, so gotta give her credit there. But other than that, um, she's Swedish, but I don't really see much else special about her, so I'm just going to put her in the meh category. Now we have Addie. She's a queen. Uh, grew up in the Civil War. Gorgeous doll. Not much else you can be said. I don't think I need to explain more. Addie's a queen. Now we have Samantha. Samantha's really popular, probably because she's one of the only three original dolls that are still out. 
Um, I like her. She's decent. Her beef forever is her pink flowy outfit. Not accurate to the time period. But uh, she's good enough, I guess. Now we have Nellie, and in my opinion, Nellie's a lot more interesting than Samantha in terms of her story. She's really adorable. I would probably get her if she wasn't retired. Um, her story is really interesting. She's an orphan immigrant, so she had to support her sisters, and she was adopted by Samantha's aunt, I think. But I really like Nellie. She's going into the great category. Next is Rebecca, and this is another doll that Kat really likes because she was really excited to get her. Um, I like her enough. She's not my favorite, but she is really pretty. Interesting story. She wants to be an actress in the theater like me, so I'll just put her in the good category. Kit is the only historical that I own, and you gotta respect her, so great story, unique look. There aren't that many dolls that have bobs like Kit, um, so yeah, Kit's a queen, that's all I'm gonna say. Ruthie's almost as good as Kit, wants to help Kit because she comes from a richer family than her. She's pretty unique too. So, she's almost as great as Kit. I'll put her in the great category. Now we have Molly. She's the um, historical doll that I want. She's really pretty. I'm going to put her. She's, I'm not quite sure to put it, where to put her. I'm just gonna put her in great. So, yeah, World War II, one of the originals friends with Emily so yeah Emily's pretty great too World War II again staying with the McIntyres from England I'll put her as a queen Nanea didn't interest me that much uh she's from Hawaii second Hawaiian doll bombing of Pearl Harbor and she has a unique face mold, which I'm not in love with. I'm okay with her face mold. I know a lot of people like it, but I don't honestly like it that much. So, yeah, she's just good to me. I'm just going to be honest. I don't like Mary Ellen that much. She's pretty, I guess. She's from the 50s, which is cool. She has a couple of cool set pieces, but about it I don't like her that much I like Courtney better which I'll explain when I get to Courtney Melody's a queen she sings she's from the civil right movement so yeah not much else to be said Melody's a queen Julie's boring I'm just gonna be honest she's um her looks her blonde hair is iconic. It's about all she has going for her. She wants to play basketball, but the school won't let her. I know my cousins like her, but eh. She's just boring to me. Ivy is the last queen she, I'm going to put on here. She has to choose between gymnastics and um, her Chinese heritage. Learning about her Chinese heritage and her family. Which I think is pretty cool. She's unique and a lot better than Julie in my opinion. So yeah, she deserves the queen spot. So last we have the newest doll, Courtney. And I like Courtney. Like her story is really good because I saw the stop motion movie. Um, her collection's great. The only thing I wish was different is I wish she didn't she had a more unique look. Like, she doesn't look as much like Mary Ellen as me and a lot of other people thought she would, but she still kind of looks like her and kind of wish she would have been a little more unique in terms of appearance. But other than that, I like Courtney. 
so this is from editing kitty but i didn't uh something happened with murray grace's um audio like combined with cecile's so i don't know what happened but i'm re-recording it right here so as you can see i put her in the great category i really like her face mold it's unique I like how she's shy and quiet and she's from new orleans yeah she's great one last thing i think i may have judged kirsten a little too harshly um now that i think about it she is pretty cool she's one of the originals she's an immigrant so I'm going to move her up to good right under Molly. I don't think I'll change anything else. And again, these are my opinion. Feel free to disagree. But I think this is my final opinion. So that'll do it for this video. I hope I didn't offend anyone. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. Bye.